Today, I want to talk about how to create a fighting style health bar in Unreal Engine 4. Take a quick look of how this is going to look. I've put them on depot keys 3 and 4, so 3 spawns it, and then 4 takes it away. As you can see here, I've added a little shield. But what you can see is the health goes down, but the thing behind, I call it the delay, happens a little bit after to give it that nice fighting style effect. And obviously, you can run out. So how I achieved this was if we go into the health bar textures first, uh, there's this texture here. All I've done is a nice quick thing in a sprite. Um, I'll put that in the description for anyone that wants it. It's just a, a container. Um, so, right, let's go to the health bar. We've got four health bars. We've got a delayed, which is red, a normal, which is green, shield delayed, which is dark blue, and a normal shield, which is light blue. You'll see all of these are angled at 25, she uh, 45 shear, sorry. That gives it that nice slant. And then you'll be able to see that there's a mask on the root saying clip to bounds. That basically means that when because these go over, that they won't be counted. So all I've got here is a size box, two overlays, the health bars, and this those overlays are to overlay the health bars. And then this last overlay is to have the image on top that I showed you a minute ago. So let's check at the graph, shall we? So this is what we call from outside. All we say is how much damage we're going to do and recalculate the health. So here we're saying if the current health minus the health to minus is below 100, so do we need the shield? If, if it's not, so we do need the shield, then what we're going to do is current health minus health to minus minus 100, because if you think about it, the, uh, the shield one is 0 to 1 in itself. So if you're over 100, that's another 100 to count. Um, so we're basically saying, for example, 120 minus 100 is 20, divided by 100 is 0 0.2, because the progress bar is working 0 to 1s. Probably should mention that these are all progress bars. Um, so, yep, yeah, 0 0.2. Set that to the F interp target. We'll cover that in a moment. And then just set the current health to whatever value it should be. And then if we don't need the blue one, we're going to tell it don't F interp. And then we're going to get the current health, health to minus again, divided by 100. Obviously, because this is below 100, we're only dealing with the green bar and the red bar. So we don't need to worry about the shield. So that's just divide 100. So 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5. And that's the F interp target. And then obviously we're saying the current health again. So... Every frame on the tick, I hate using tick, but this is a great way to show an example. We're F interping. So we're going from A to B with this curve. So A to B, the delta time is every second, every tick. So A to B, so A, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, to B. And then the interp speed, so how fast we want this. Um, for the normal green bar, we're going to say seven. And then we're just going to clamp it to make sure it doesn't go below zero or one because these progress bars can only do zero and one. And then for the red bar, we I've put an interp speed. It's exactly the same, but I've put the interp speed at 1.25. So it interps slower. So it takes longer. That's what gives it that nice shrinking effect. And then again, I'm clamping it. And then I just do the same for the, uh, the blue shield at seven. And then the shield delayed is one. So if we check that out, well, actually, before we do, look at the begin play. We're going to check if the current health is over 100. So when this widget's made, is this over 100? If it is, we're going to minus 100, truncate it, just in case that somebody's put 120.5 for whatever reason. So we're going to make sure that it's like 120, then obviously divide by 100, and that's the target for that. And that's pretty much it for all the health bars. Um, all I've done from here is added a debug to my character. So number three spawns the health bar widget. Number four just passes 10 health. Let's say now we want to do 25. Uh, and we just test that out. So three to spawn the widget. Four to take 25 health. There you go. Nice and simple. Uh, just to show what the F interp does. Let's say the F interp for this is, I don't know, one. It's actually a saying 0 0.1, it's going to take forever, but it should show you what I mean. Three, four, four. There you go, as you can see, it's gradually catching up. Excellent. So let's change that back to 1.25 and then set the current health to 50. So there should be no shield this time. There we go. And obviously, what you saw there is I didn't actually take into account that current health needs to be updated at the start. Um, so what we can do very quickly is just copy just even just that to be fair so 
false is just current health divided by 100 is F interp green. That's all we need to do there. So three, there you go. It's now 50 and then character's dead. And then from there, all you'd have to do is you could check on the recalculate health or check on the tick if the health is below or equal to zero. If it is, game over or KO, whatever you want to do.